Hey there, it's Crafty Jennabug. I'm ready to start working in this. I'm ready to start decorating the inside of this journal and making these pages beautiful. I am so looking forward to this. Hey, why won't you stay open? Come on now. This, I'm really tempted to just glue it down and make it a pocket. So I love the way it looks but it kind of feels like a cop-out. So I'm gonna have to think on that more. I mean, it would be cute to just have like a tag. I thought about making like three pockets, do, do, or two pockets, but I don't know. All right, the first thing I wanna do is I have all of these little items and I want to glue them down where I have them. I'm gonna use hot glue. All right, well, the next thing I want to do is put this somewhere. The best relationships can't be explained. And I think I want to do it on the back of this polka dot page here. I definitely want it on the left side of a page to be like a flip out kind of deal. And this is like the perfect height just has a little bit of an edge around it. I could potentially make it a pocket, but that would be a very big pocket. Make it a pocket this way. That might be cool. But before I do that, I want I don't want it to just have white here. In preparation for this journal, I bought some stamps, some little rubber stamps, and they are a variety of different love themed, you know, Valentine's Day themed. I got these at Michael's. Oh, and it came with a cute little stamp pad. Awesome. I am going to use my candied apple distress oxide. I like best friends since they're being sweet. Maybe I should glue this first and then leave that and then just stamp on here because they're all small enough. Okay. Got that in place so it can dry. Let me actually just add one more here. And another here. There, maybe that'll help. So that'll give me a pocket here. Now I'm going to stamp here. I like best friends. And let's see what else. I just I'm gonna do them all in this candied apple red. Let's make something for the pocket. And that could be some journal space. This could be some journal space. I might actually do something in here. Maybe another pocket. Pocket in a card in a pocket. A pocket in a card. That's a pocket. That might be cool. Alright, so I guess we're making some ephemera. When I was decorating um, pages with distress sprays and uh, inks and such for the signatures, I took a piece of cardstock that I had sitting around and I smooshed it against the top and pulled some color off and I cut this piece to here. I have this poem by Joanna Fuchs called I Never Knew. I never knew about happiness. I didn't think dreams came true. I couldn't really believe in love until I finally met you. And I thought that would be really cute on this tag in the pocket created by that, um, by the greeting card. I thought that would look really cute. I think I want to use some 
candied apple to distress the edges. Definitely of the tag at least. Yes, I like that a lot better. Now I just gotta figure out a tag topper. Let's see what it'll look like in here. Nothing big, maybe some lace. All right, that's gonna need to dry. <laughs> Looks like a little crown, I love it. Cute. I think I want a little bit of sweet washi tape. And then I do want to put a little pocket over here. All right, I found something. Found this image on Pinterest and it is adorable. And I decided it's gonna look super cute right here. Right? And it works with the best relationships, can't be explained. I love it. I, just that little guy peek in there. What's he doing? Oh! I love it. And then this is dry. It can go back here. Awesome. So, that's our first page decorated. Yeah! Now, let's see. That is actually going to get a bit annoying. So, maybe I will take... Will this work? does work. That I could do like um, a little banner, a little piece of ribbon or something. Okay, so I opened up this ribbon and I found this pink ribbon in my stash as well. And I really like the way they look together. So I'm going to figure out how much I need. All right, the first thing I need to do is glue these together. Got some parchment paper. I'm going to use this Eileen's Fabric Fusion. Eileen's. Come on. And I have some parchment paper down so it doesn't stick to my surface. That's gonna have to dry for a bit. All right, so I have this. It's a piece of scrap of paper with like pink floral, uh, I can't think of the word, pink scroll work kind of pattern on it. And I took this black silky ribbon and I cut out some hearts from a piece of Distress Oxide Spray dyed book page. And I think I want to sew down so that the hearts, middle of the hearts have, a st have stitching down them and they stick up a little bit. And then make this a belly band. Although, I'm not sure how it would look with the ribbon banner I'll have going on here. So worst case scenario, I could switch it further down in the signature to this side. So for now, I'm going to make this. I'm going to start by gluing down
I gotta wait for this glue to dry before I sew down it. So that's gonna be a few minutes, but in the meantime, I think I will I'm gonna use the black. All right, I went ahead and sewed this off camera. I really like the way it turned out. And I set it here and I really like the way it looks against the red polka dots. But then I bring this in, which I needed the paper clip to keep this flap closed because otherwise it's just gonna pop open. I don't know, maybe it's not as bad as it was, see? that I'm not really a fan of. So I took this little banner, it's now the glue, the fabric glue has dried. Uh, and I took some tacky glue and folded it over the bottom piece of the, um, the paper clip, the, all right, see this is the paper clip. I folded it over onto itself along this bar and put some tacky glue on the back of it, making sure to get tacky glue on the metal of the paper clip as well. And I've got it clamped down. But when I set it here, and then I set this here, I don't really like the interplay between the two. I don't think it works as well. So I think I'm going to do something else on this page and for this, I think I'm going to stick it here. I like the way it looks. I just didn't like it in conjunction with the little banner. So let's get some tacky glue. I'll let that dry. This is still drying. I could make a t or get a tag to put in there. I have a few printables I can link down below where I got these. These are from Artsy Fartsy Life, which I love the name. Um, and they are free printables. I think one of these big tags might, uh, might be a little too big. These are the valent two of the three Valentine's Day sheets, and these are the floral sheets. Yeah, those are just too big. I could cut it down. Uh, I guess I'm making my own. Yeah, even if I cut some off, they just feel too big. I don't know. Let me cut one out and see. All right, I changed my mind. I think now that I have it cut out, I can see exactly the size it is in comparison to my little belly band. And I think it will work. And I like the way she peeks out looking at the hearts, so. Okay, well, I think I want to sew around it and maybe put an eyelet in it. It is cardstock, it's kind of thin, but I don't feel the need to back it necessarily. So I'm going to leave that as is, but I do want to sew around it and add an eyelet and some kind of dangle off of it. So I'll be back once that's done. All right. This is what it looks like once I have sewn around it and I added a heart shaped eyelet that I had. And then this fancy fun fur type eyelash yarn. It has some black and some red in it. It is this uh, no boundaries type of eyelash yarn. That's where it came from. From Walmart. It was in my stash, so I used it. And now I kind of feel like I need to knot it here because that's going to come out. There she is. Sticking out. And that's some journal space. Alright, this is dried, and as you can see, I just wrapped it around. As you can see, I just wrapped it around and glued it back onto itself and to the paper clip. 
So it's going to go right there. And it will need to be removed before you can open this. So. I like it. This page needs something else. I'm just not sure what at the moment. So, I think I'm going to shift my attention elsewhere. This page is kind of vexing me at the moment. Alright, I've also got some Kitsch Flamingo um, Distress Ink, Distress Oxide Ink, excuse me, there's a difference. And then this can get glued down. Alright, off camera I decided I needed a few more little hearts around and I figured out what I'm going to make to go in this pocket. I have this that came off of a piece of scrapbook paper and it's a cute little like postcard journal card kind of thing. And I'm just going to glue it down to this paper. This is an Oriental Trading Company paper. It has these glittery hearts all over it. And I'm going to glue it down like that. And then I'm going to trim around the card itself so that it has the rounded edges. And then I'll be back. All right, here's what it looks like. All done up. And I think it'll look really cute sticking out of there. Oh, I love it. I'm trying to decide if I want to put something on it for like a pull, like a tab, like I did this one. A tag topper. But I think it's really cute. Journal on it here. Lots of sparkly hearts. Cool. Now, for decorating this pocket, I have an idea. I used some of the, my magazine flower pieces and I glued together this cute flower. I want to stick it right about here. But before I do that, I want to try my hand at some more embossing because I had a lot of fun. And I've got these stamps. I know I don't have a stamp pad, but I'm just going to take the embossing pen and run it on the raised parts of the back of this stamp and then stamp it and sprinkle. I think I want this one to go here. And I have another one I want to go here. And I'm not covering love specifically. And then I have a sentiment I want to attach. So that's what we're going to do before I glue this down. looks like the line work was a little too thin. It's really hard to see. There we go. That is so much better. Magic. Magic. All right, now we glue this right around here. Awesome, that is so cute. All right, that's the quote that I wanna use. All you need is love by Sir Paul McCartney. And I think I'm going to use some, was it Kitsch Flamingo to distress the edges. Make them pop a little bit on all this red.
Let's just make the whole thing pink. I think I'm going to line them in red now. There we go, and that's another page down. Got this cute little journal card in there. I love it. I love it. All right, I have this half of the envelope pockets, and I have gone through a bunch of magazines and cut out a bunch of love related words. We've got all the loves over here and I've got a bunch of other things over here. And I decided I want to just put all of the loves all, all over this side of the pocket. And I'm gonna use some Liquitex Matte Gel and a paintbrush. Now I see Barbara using this quite a bit. And she swears by it for collaging so I decided to give it a shot awesome all right well I'm gonna let that dry and see where that leaves us it just makes me think of like collaging when I was a kid or a teenager, covering my journals with all sorts of magazine cutouts. I still have all these other words. I might make a tag for inside here that has all of those words on it, or I could do that on the other one. There are a lot of them. <laughs> so. We'll see, I'm gonna let this dry for now. All right, this is dry. It's not my favorite thing ever, but I think I have an idea. I think I'm gonna use more of that matte gel and on this page, collage the rest of the words that were love related so that this one just says love and then this says all the other stuff. For instance, like feel good, need, essential, passion and whatnot all these other words i think i'm gonna put all over here but first i think i might do some stamping and some using some stencils maybe so i'm gonna do something but let me look through and see what i have first before i make any decisions but i think that would look pretty cool when flipping through and you just have this collage of words essentially that are love related with love on top. So I have this stencil. I don't know if you can really see what it is, but I have a neat stencil called, uh, from this pack, Glimmer Screens for uh, Garden Lattice. And this is what it looks like. So I thought about spraying Distress Spray through this stencil but I really don't want it to bleed through and mess this up instead I'm going to use paint through this stencil I'm gonna use a mix of these two paints I've got this folk art rose shimmer metallic and bright red metallic and I'm gonna kind of separate them and then blend them you really can't see what I'm doing yet I don't hate it. I'm gonna let it dry and I'll be back. All right, so it's dry. I'm not incredibly in love with it. I kind of like the idea of covering it in words now. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I like the idea of these 
I like the idea I've got going on, I should say. So, I am going to glue these down with the matte gel and a um, paintbrush once again. And I'll be back. Okay, that is what that looks like now. I really like it, actually, especially when paired with this. Part of me doesn't even want to put anything in this pocket. Or maybe I'll put something short in the pocket. Potentially. I don't know. I really like it. It's kind of random. But that's what love is, right? Um, I still have some of this red metallic paint. So, I think... Ah, uh, that's still wet. While this is wet... I'll do that. Now, since I still have some of that red metallic paint, I want to find a page that could use it. Maybe in this other signature. Hmm. Hmm. Like these but I gotta figure out what I'm going to put here I think I might want to just do some generic scroll work so I'll be right back I think I've got it figured out this stencil with this paint let's do it shall we See how it looks. Okay. All right. I think that looks good. Now I'm going to dry it. All right. So once this had dried, I decided I wanted to outline the stenciled images, and I think it just really made it pop. And I used this little 0 .005 micron pure black pen. Super tiny little, super tiny little tip to outline around them. It's very imperfect. Uh, I did my best. I kind of like it imperfect though. I like the way it turned out. I want to make a tuck spot for this page. What I plan to do for that is, I have this little bit of paper, and I want to trim that so that it has this wavy edge. And I'm going to add this paper, and then I'll decorate on here. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut these to size. I think I'm gonna sew around them, and then glue them in. So, I'll be back. All right, I've got it figured out. So this came off of one of those free printables. I have linked the one that I also got this tag from. It was actually, I think, was it the Valentine's set? I think it was. And I'm going to glue it here as a pocket for some tickets. So I'm actually gonna shift it like here. And then I've got this felt heart. I'm actually going to cut this little piece off of. And then this will be glued up here with some of it sticking out as like a little tag or as a little page tab. And then I'm going to stick one of these hearts down here at the bottom. So first thing I got to do is get some glue. I love it. I love these strings sticking out. Yeah, cool. And then, these actually came from Michael's from their Valentine's Day stack out. I think 
that's going to stick just fine. Awesome. All right, now the tickets I also cut out from the same printables. Um, this one came from the Valentine's Day set. This one came from the flowers set. So I think I'm going to just trim this edge slightly to make it look like it was torn, if it will actually work. All right, so I trimmed them with the pinking shears just barely so that it looked like they were ripped. And then, instead of making a piece of ephemera for this, I'm going to use something that I made back when I first started junk journaling. I was making all of these envelopes. And this is a piece of scrapbook paper that I added a few embellishments to. There was this, what was that coming up? There's this faux stamp here and this piece of washi tape flower. And I think it just works with the vintage theme going on with the other pieces. And then piece of scrapbook paper, flower, some washi tape, more washi tape. And then inside is a pink piece of scrapbook paper journal card, which I want to ink up the edges of a little bit. Actually, I might corner around also. Is that even straight? I think hickory smoke will suit. Ha! I think hickory suit. I think hickory smoke will suit the uh, vintage feel of this a bit more than the stark black soot. All right, that journal card can go in there. I can journal on the front and the back. And that can go right in there. I like it. I was avoiding greens with this, but I think because I already had this here, the greens work. So I'm not gonna fuss at myself about it, for lack of a better word. I think that's where I'm going to end this video. I'm struggling a little bit with this one, with this journal. Um, this is not my typical color scheme and I'm not as inspired working on it as I was with the previous journal. And I'm really looking forward to March's journal <laughs> because I can go more with like a spring theme, which is more my vibe. So I'm trying not to jump ahead of myself and really trying to stay present in this journal, with this journal, working on it. But I've done, I've done seven pages, or seven, yeah, seven pages so far. Did that one, which I really liked. This one I like. I've got, let's see, this, which I also like quite a bit. And then these two I'm not totally in love with and I still need to make some sort of ephemera but it feels right at the same time even though I'm not in love with it maybe I will I could always do some like black soot oxide distressing around the pages or something this one is still a work in progress this set of pages or pocket and page so those need something this I love. I think it's adorable. And then of course we've, oh, sorry for that. And then of course we've got the little squirrels on this journaling card. More green. <laughs> and, oh, stay, get in there. And then of course we've got a poem peeking out. And then this, 
I think I figured out what I'm going to do with this page. I'm just not going to do it in this video. So stay tuned for that. I've got a plan for this one. And uh, it's not all that crazy. But I think I'll be happy with it once it's done. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I am looking forward to working in this some more. I'm hoping that... I get a little bit more inspired. Maybe I'll go online and look up some ideas. So stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.